the next sound that we're going to go ahead and add is going to be for our enemy. Since we have a certain amount of enemies, some of us may have two, others may have three. Uh, this one might be a little bit long because you'll have to do different sounds for each enemy or at least repeat this block of code in each of the enemy uh, so that they're able to have it uh, one for each of them. So we're going to first go ahead and click on our original enemy and we're going to do the same thing that we did for our shot sprite. So we're going to go into this my block. We're going to make a block and we're going to call this a sound and click on OK. So this sound is going to be different. It's not going to be an actual enemy sound that they have while they're moving because since we're going to have multiple enemies showing up at different points, it can easily get overwhelming with sounds. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to do an enemy losing sound. So this is going to be specifically played when our enemy is in contact with our shot, uh, with our shot sprite and they automatically lose. We want to have that sound play. So in order to do that, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to start off as always in control and we're going to add an if then else so that we have two different sounds for it. We're going to go into our operators and we're going to add this equal sign. This time around, I'll do one, and I'm going to go into variable, and I'm going to use my random bubble. So since we've already set up our random bubble, it's easy for us to use it. And since it's for all sprites, we're able to access the same thing as our shots without having to worry about creating a brand new variable and doing the same setup. So now that we have this, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is go onto our sound tab, and we're going to add a set sound for both of them. Uh, set volume and then we're going to go ahead and add a start sound next we're going to go ahead and go to the sound tab and we're going to choose a sound and we're going to go ahead and find a sound uh, for our creatures I'm just going to go ahead and maybe go to one of these animal sounds maybe use a growl and uh, maybe a grunt and i can maybe play around with the sounds maybe make it slower or louder if i wanted to but once i've played around and created the sounds that i wanted i can go back to my code and swap the sounds out for the ones that i want and now that i've done that i'm going to just scroll down and look for this block of code which is telling us exactly when our uh, creatures are being destroyed. So here is where we're going to go into the my blocks, add the sound tab, and we're just going to add it in between the change score by one and the delete this clone. As always, it's good to test out the sounds just to make sure that everything is working, but once it is, uh, we are free to move on to the next step.